I can't wait to party tonight with you and Michaela at our book bash. I am super excited to be able to share more of these books with you. And right now, I'd love to get your four year, almost four year old and 18 month old some books that fit into their likes and interests. So let's go. We're going to start with your four year old first. You said he, almost four year olds, excuse me. Um, You said that he loves superheroes. So this is actually one of my favorite superhero books for that age range. This is actually our Muddle and Match. And Muddle and Match are perfect for fun, silly stories for that age range. And then as they get older, listening for those letter sounds and the changes within sentences. So it's really a great um, early literacy tool. So this is Muddle and Match and it's superheroes. Tilly Terrific, the turbocharged titan, travels tirelessly through time to take a tasty taco to her tame T-Rex. Do you understand now the concept of this? It's really those tongue twisters that are going to get that t sound. Or in fact, we have da -da -da, the Z sound. Or we can go through, oops, sorry, my book is sticky. This one has uh, been through a lot in my house. Um, so you, you have the Z sounds. We have so many different characters in here that you can change to. What's really great is they can create their own silly stories because there are so many different ways you can do this. So Tilly Terrific, the turbocharged titan, zooms and zings from Zurich to Zanzibar to catch a massive metallic meteor. It's great litter, uh, uh, great vocabulary building, um, great fun story time. And then the other thing that I really like is as they're learning those sounds, you can say, what sound does it change to? You've never really hear sentences with all that same sound. It's the whole point of having tongue twisters. So check these out, muddle and match. There's lots of them in there, but superheroes is one. There's also different animal ones too. So check those out. Another one that is actually a favorite of mine, um, it has been rebranded. It actually now says Farmyard Tales, uh, Touchy Feely Farmyard Tales, Poppy and Sam's Animal Hide and Seek. It is just a rebranding of it. It is illustrated by Stephen Cartwright, and you'll see that all of Stephen Cartwright's books have a little hidden yellow duck on every page. So they're rebranding them all so that they can say Poppy and Sam because they all follow Poppy and Sam through the story. What's great is these are wonderful books for touchy feely. It's also a wonderful book because it's going to actually ask them questions and get them interacting. There's only one cow in the barn. Where's Daisy? <gasps> there she is. She's hiding. So there's so many great ones in here. It has Curly the pig and all of those animals that are all Poppy and Sam related. So I love this one. All of our Farm Your Tales books are Stephen Cartwright Illustrated and they're all Poppy and Sam. So we'll see about this one. It's a really fun one, but all those touchy feelies are great for the, that younger age, but then those questions are great for that slightly moving up towards preschool age. Another one that we love in this house is Ocean Animals. My daughter loves this book so much. It is so much fun for her. She's four and a half. And what it is, is they're going to pull the, the story. Can you find me hiding somewhere? It's going to have little words that they have. It's me, Squid. Oh, sorry. It's me, Squid. And then it turns here. Um, let me get this back. So we have this picture. It says, it's me, Squid. It's me, Shark. It's me, Discus Fish. You found me, and it's the whole picture on there. So these are actually phenomenal books. There's two in this series, but this is Ocean Animals. It's my daughter's favorite. There's multiple pages in here. Kisses, Cuddles, and Good Night is a super fun one that is going to really engage with kids. One of the things that's really cool with all of these books is that there are five truly reusable stickers. These are hard plastic. You run them under cold water and they are good to go. All Better is the precursor for this book. Check that one out too, super exciting. But they're all animals and what you do, it's a, a rhythmic and repetitious story. Pig played in the mud all day. She splashed and romped and got very dirty. Now she's yawning and ready for bed. She gives her stuffed animal a kiss, a cuddle, Good night, pig, and it's a great matching tool. I love this and all better. They are so fantastic. And then of course, in the end, they are all together sleeping with their snugglies. So have a wonderful time with this one. Super fun bedtime story.
Last but not least for your MS4 year old is this awesome Woodlands book. Oh, I do have one more. I'm sorry. Um, is this awesome Woodlands book. It is a magic painting book. These pages are perforated. You can tear them out, put them on cardboard, give them a cup of water and the paintbrush and have them go to town. And it makes a beautiful picture that is absolutely perfect with colors. And of course, all they're using is water. So it's super, super fun. My four and a half year old loves these. She's been doing them since she was three and they are her favorite. Okay, now last but not least, I grabbed this one because I don't have animals, nor do I have trucks, but we have both of them. This is the Big Book Up series. And the Big Book Up series is fantastic because in those younger ages, they get to fold these pages out, lay on the floor and literally get drawn into the images. As they get older, the material becomes more read or read to them. You would read to them or they would read it themselves. It goes up to about a third grade level with the material that's inside of it. So it starts at three and you can go all the way up to about eight years old with these. They are a perfect value. I love them. So this would actually be perfect for him in either our animals or our trucks. We love the series at home. We have multiple ones up here. However, um, I don't have animals and I don't have trucks. So let me move on to your daughter. You said she loves dolls and she also loves, sorry, I'm trying to get my picture back, dolls, animals, and music. So let's start with this one. This one's probably my favorite. You'll see it again tonight. It has an on off switch in the back, which is so awesome. This is Don't Tickle the Lion. And Don't Tickle the Lion is a repetitious book. Remember rhythm, rhyme, and repetition, perfect for early literacy. Don't, excuse me, don't tickle the lion. You might make it, what's the word? Or, and you get to hear the sound. So everybody knows what a lion's roar is, right? Don't tickle the zebra. You might make it giggle. I love that this book really talks to kids about sounds that they don't typically hear animals making. I've never heard what a zebra does. I've never heard what a giraffe does. And in Don't Tickle the Hippo, which is another one of this book, it has a giraffe in there. I love that it introduces animals that we haven't heard along with animals that we have heard what sounds they make. So it's perfect for those young hands. I adore this whole series, Don't Tickle the Lion, Don't Tickle the Hippo, and of course our newest, Don't Tickle the Dinosaur. So check this out, super cool. This is the baby's very first playbook, Animal Words. I love the anim uh, uh, the Words series because what it does, for those younger kids, it's great just because, you know, those 18-month-olds, it's great because they can put their hands on the page. There's enough visual interest as well as tactile interest, they're tactile learners, um, to really get in there. I like that it has the words and the individual animals on one side, and then it has them on the other side of the page for them to match up. I think that is so cool. Now they are slightly different, so it's really gonna challenge those younger ones to truly look and see what they have and where they are. So I love that about them. Um, super, super fun, and of course, I've missed the porcupine. There he is, my hand is not on there, um, where it needs to be. So this is a great little book, lots of pages in here, lots of tactile learning, as well as just lots of fun with the words and the images themselves. Another one from Poppy and Sam, this is Poppy and Sam's Animal Sounds. Again, an on-off switch in the back, but this is great for farm sounds as they go along, and it's a little story that you can read. I love that each of the pages has something for them to push, but there are also visual interests on the story level itself. So it's a wonderful book to really sit down and read with your child as story time, but to still give them something to do while you're doing that. So I love, love, love Farm Your Tales, Poppy and Sam, anything. So I think you can figure that out. Another author that we have is Lynn Paris Sutton, and she has amazing storybooks. Animal Lee is by far my favorite of this series, but also an animal is also a great story and I love them for bedtime. This is also an animal. It would be great for both of your children. If you were a calf, then I'd be a moose. I'd teach you to tuck tasty twigs till they're loose. If you were a chick, then I'd be a loon. We'd glide on the lake by the light of the moon. It's such a beautiful story as you go through. Lots of pages, but you can always skip. And then of course, at the end, 
Where are we going? Woods, water, or air, I will, would always be there for wild or tame. I love you the same. Animally is also absolutely beautiful, but they're both animal stories. And what is wonderful about this is the pages are not straight paper. They're almost like a laminated cardstock, which is super nice because they don't tear easily. Last but not least for your 18 month old that loves music, this is Baby's very first musical playbook. I love these because they are tactile learners, of course, and so we have our finger trails. These are all cut out. I don't know if you can see that here. They're cut out. We have our touchy-feely spots. We have small flaps. And of course, we have all of those intricate uh, laser cut spaces. We also have these cool little buttons on the side, two per page or set of pages, and they correspond to what is on the page. So they have to actually think about what's on the page to see which one they push. They are not super loud, which I absolutely love. You don't have to worry about them really getting on your nerves. But there's lots in here to look through. There's also a QR code on the back. You can clip that QR code, and it's going to take you to more fun activities and music as well. So I love this one. This is Musical Playbook. Okay, I hope that helps. I will see you tonight. I cannot wait for the party, Lori. Have a great night.